I'm um, actually cooking. It's like after midnight, and I'm I'm cooking some red beans, carrots. Um, I put a little bit of celery in here, and some russet. I cut up some russet potatoes. And I am getting ready to cut up some orange and um, red um, peppers. Anyway, I'm, I'm cooking and I love cooking. I never used to love cooking. It felt um, strange to me. It felt, um, you know, I, I, I can cook. I had to cook some things. I did have children, you know. So cooking um, things like chicken and, you know, the, the staple things that we, you know, cook. Um, I can do those things. But I was never, like, really creative with my cooking and was really afraid to try anything new because I felt like I might mess something up. Um, and, you know, I'm by myself now. My kids are much older, so... You know, it behooves me to really try and cut some things up and make some different things and, um, you know, just taste it and see what happens. You know, and that's pretty much what I do. I just try different things now. Like, and I don't even, you know, I'll, I'll start making something, putting some things together that I'm like, I don't know if that goes together. But... You know, sometimes I'll, I'll look at a recipe of some things that I want to put together and look at the recipe. I'll be like, see, I could do this. You know, this this is cool. It'll work. It'll work. So anyway, um, I'm, it's midnight, like I said, and I'm, I'm cooking for tomorrow because I will probably, I can't sleep for some reason. I'm, you know, thinking about some things that I need to do and trying to study up a little bit. And so I said, why not just go ahead and and cook some things and get something cooked for tomorrow. And I know that I wanted to have red beans. So earlier today I had kind of soaked some red beans a little bit. And so now I'm going to, I'm cutting up these red peppers and these orange peppers. And I'm going to stick these in here. My kitchen's very small. This is not the apartment that I was supposed to have, but you know, here it is. When you wait, when you wait to the last minute to move, and you know you're supposed to be moving, you end up someplace that you really didn't want to be. But hey, I have a roof over my head, so I'm good about that, you know. So anyway, there's some new things that are ha gonna be happening. Um, you know the earlier part of, of next year anyway, so I'm really not. I'm all right. Do what you got to do while you got to do it. And then you find some lessons in some things. I'm all about the lesson. I'm all about always learning, you know, something new. And so, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with being where I am. Anyway, I'm going to cut these up. I'm almost done. And I'm going to put these in this pot. I want some green onions, too. I'm going to cut up a little bit of green onions. And I'm always trying to be careful because I don't want... I, I like my fruit to... I mean, my vegetables to still be able to get the nutrients from it. And sometimes if you put stuff in too early, then it ends up getting soggy. And you lose all your nutrients. And I don't want to do that. So I think these are good enough. I'm going to put these peppers in here. Let them cook for a little bit. And then I can put my green pepper, my green onions in there. Doo -doo. I got stuff everywhere. Excuse me. And this is probably going to get a little blurry, but y'all know what's happening. Y'all know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to live this life. I'm trying to cook this food. I'm trying to feed myself. I got a little carrots in here too. Oh my God, it looks so beautiful. I got some bay leaves in here. I love bay leaves. 
It looks so colorful. I like my food looking colorful. And I don't know why I don't have this going on. Anyway, I am loving the whole cooking thing now. Like I said before, I used to be really afraid of cooking. My partners in the past, they um, were, were actually good cooks, you know. My mother used to try and teach me to cook when I was younger, and I told her, I'm never going to get married, so why do I need to cook? Well, not only did I get married, I ended up having three kids and had to have people teach me how to cook. It's all good, though. Anyway. So, again, I'm going to take this off the stand and kind of show you guys what it is that I've made so far. And of course, I'll take pictures later. We'll be back. Okay, so we're going to take the lid off of this pot. You see that food? That looks good, doesn't it? No meat at all. I did not put any meat in there. I am not really a vegetarian. I am a pescatarian. And I don't always eat fish. Um, I'll eat um, vegetables most of the time. I don't have, I'll say I probably eat eat um, fish, I don't know, maybe fish I'll probably eat maybe once every, oh, I don't know, I just had some salmon and I hadn't had fish probably in like six, six, no, 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 I'm lying. The only time that I've been having fish now is when I've been invited over at one of my tribe's house and they eat a lot of fish because... You know, they don't eat meat. They won't make meat when, you know, we're there because, you know, the rest of us who are in the tribe don't really eat meat. And so, like, I'll eat fish. But I don't really buy fish unless I'm cooking it for the tribe when they come over here. Other than that, I'll, I'll make um, shrimp. I am really trying to get, you know, out of the whole shrimp thing. I know that they're bottom feeders, but whatever. Um... By April or May of next year, my plan is to be to go totally vegan. But anyway, that's my beans, y'all.